We can't all afford to dress top to toe in designer clothes, but just because we dress on a budget doesn't mean we have to look budget. Hi, I'm Leonie and welcome to my channel. Today I'm sharing some very simple styling tips that will elevate your outfits and make them look chic and sophisticated regardless of how much money you've spent. Now, one of the biggest mistakes that I often see when I go into someone's home and do a styling session with them is that they don't have enough good bones in their wardrobe to anchor some of those cheaper, sort of trend-focused pieces. So good bones are those really classic, timeless pieces that you tend to spend a little bit more money on because you know you're going to wear them for years and years. They fit well, they always look good on you. They're a little bit better quality. Now, I'm not saying that you have to go out and spend an absolute fortune on these pieces, but these are the, the clothes that you are wanting to invest as much as your budget will allow. So they're pieces that are great anchoring foundation pieces so that when a new season rolls around you can pick and choose from some of the current trends you don't have to spend a fortune on those pieces you can mix and match them with those good basics that you already own create some beautiful outfits that look more expensive than they are so if you don't have some of those really good foundation pieces those good bones as i like to say then maybe it's time to look at what you've got and potentially invest in some good basics now one of the other mistakes that i see and in my opinion i do think it tends to make outfits look cheap and that is always relying on black as your foundation pieces to wear color so you probably know if you've been following me here for a while, I love color and I've definitely been incorporating more color into my outfits lately and feeling great for it. But what I do see is when you're first starting out introducing color into your outfits, it's almost, it seems like a no brainer just to pair a colored piece with a black, say a black pair of pants will anchor any colorful piece. And in some ways it does, but it just doesn't look elevated and polished and as stylish as it possibly can. Now, what I tend to suggest is anchoring some of those colorful pieces back with colors and items in the same tone. So it's almost like recreating that sort of idea of monoch monochrome dressing, which is all similar tones from the one color family. That tends to just make an outfit look a little bit more cohesive and seamless and a little bit more modern. So I know it's really tempting to grab that pair of black pants or black skirt or black shirt or whatever it may be if you've just introduced a colorful piece into your wardrobe. But just be careful because sometimes that black can just be a bit too harsh and it can kill the joy that is in that colorful piece. So look at tonal dressing as an easier way to create a colorful look and a colorful outfit. And at this point, I'd just like to say a very big thank you to the team at Lily Silk for sponsoring this portion of today's episode. I'm wearing a couple of new Lily Silk pieces today and absolutely loving them. I also knew that you all heard, you guys told me that you really enjoyed the try on that I did in a couple of videos ago. So I thought I would share how I'm styling a couple of these lily silk pieces that are new additions to my wardrobe and as I said earlier these pieces are great for anchoring some of my sort of cheaper more trend focused pieces because they will immediately elevate them and create a little bit more of a polished look which is why I am actually happy to invest a little bit more in those quality pieces. I've also noticed recently that celebrities are now jumping on the Lily Silk bandwagon. People like Gwyneth Paltrow, Nina Dobre, who else? Oh, Anne Hathaway. I've seen her wearing Lily Silk. And of course, one of my all time favorite YouTubers, Shay Whitney, is a big fan of the brand as well. So they are a great brand, quality, and one that you can definitely trust. They're also committed to zero waste production, which is a biggie for me, and they're working with TerraCycle to achieve this. They also try and work towards a zero waste ethos within the company and all of the scraps left over from their clothing and the bedding that they make goes into making really beautiful silk eye masks and scrunchies for your hair. 
And obviously Lily Silk uses only natural fibers. And the great thing about this is that they take about one to five years to break down and decompose, as opposed to the synthetic counterparts, which take anything like 50 times that, which is crazy when you think about it. So wearing and choosing natural fibers really does make a difference to our planet as well, which is something that makes me excited to shop at Lily Silk. Now I'm thrilled to say that Lily Silk has offered me a discount code to share with you, and that is STYLE12 to save 12% off anything on the Lily Silk website. And if you decide to buy a second piece, you can save 25% using the code STYLE25. Now I will leave all of the details and the codes down in the description box to make it really easy for you, and the links of course. Also Lily Silk has some amazing discount offers over Black Friday, so definitely check in then as well so you don't miss out. But as I said, everything will be linked below to make it really easy for you. So now let's get on to these simple tips to elevate your outfits. Now this next one is a simple mistake. It's an easy one to make, but there's also an easy fix for it as well. And that is wearing bras that are too tight. Now, regardless of your size, if your bra is ill-fitting, you're going to get those lumps and bumps where your bra cuts into you. And whether your outfit looks amazing, if you do see that through your clothing, in my opinion, it's never a great look. Now the easy fix is just to invest in some very simple bra extenders. I'll put some up on the screen here so you can actually see what I mean. But these are really easy just to add to your existing bras, just to give them a little bit more length. And that just means that they're going to fit you a little bit better and create smoother lines in the clothes that you wear. So. If you are seeing this kind of bulging around your bras, your bras have got too tight and you're on the, the last hook, then these bra extenders are a really great way to get around that. Now I'm probably gonna come under fire for this one, but overly slouchy handbags tend to drag an outfit down and just make your whole outfit look a little bit sloppy and unkept. So I'm not suggesting that everything that you wear has to be structured and all up tight. I'm not suggesting that at all. But what I regularly see is sloppy, slouchy bags just dragging down an otherwise chic outfit. So just keep a mental note of that. And slouchy bags maybe for really casual times or heading to the gym but if you are using one day today, they definitely tend to cheapen an outfit and make it look a little bit too relaxed sometimes. Now my next tip to make sure that your outfits don't look cheap is to avoid buying that it piece of the season. Now you probably know what I mean, all of the high street sto stores tend to do one piece every season or at least one piece every season, whether it's a dress or a shirt or a sweater or a coat, whatever it is. And it's the kind of iconic piece for the season and all of the mass market stores tend to do it. So the problem with that is that there's no hiding it. There is no fooling anyone that you've shopped at Zara or Boohoo or the iconic or wherever it may be because these sort of it pieces are repeated all the time. They all look very similar. Often they have the same fabric. So if at all you can avoid buying that it piece of the season, then I suggest steering clear of it and buying something else. It could be similar, but just not exactly what everyone else is wearing. Now, I love pattern fabrics, don't get me wrong, but I do think it's really important to choose your patterns wisely. Really small, intricate, detailed patterns tend to look a little bit more mass market and a little bit cheaper. What I do suggest is opting for more classic patterns as such. So whether that is classic stripes or polka dots or just block colors, those pieces always tend to make an outfit look a little bit more elevated. So if at all possible, steer clear of some of those overly patterned pieces. And if you do really love a pattern and you want to wear it, then try and pair it back with something that is really a little bit more minimal. Try not to go too crazy with patterns because it does tend to look a little cheap. Now the saying, the devil is in the detail, really applies to outfits. And things like your purse, your handbag, your belts, your accessories, 
pieces that you grab for every single day can wear and perhaps not look their absolute best but often you don't see that because you're so used to relying on these pieces you grab your purse before you head out the door but it's some of those finishing pieces that if they are looking a little bit shabby and a little worse for wear they're going to bring down the tone of your entire outfit so it's worth keeping an eye on some of those pieces maybe repair them and maybe update them but just some of those items can really make the difference. They are the pieces that add the finishing touch to an outfit. So if they're not up to spec, they're going to really do the opposite and drag your outfit down. Now this next one is one that I have never been a fan of and buying and wearing designer dupes like a Louis Vuitton knockoff or a designer dupe that has the designer logo on the bag or on the shirt or whatever it may be but it's clearly not the real deal well i always think that this looks cheap as well and i know some designer dupes are incredible when it comes to the quality but they're not perfect usually and i don't know i just don't like the idea of designer knockoffs when they are that literal so I tend to steer clear of them and I do think they ultimately cheapen a look. Now this one goes without saying and that is wrinkled clothes and clothes that haven't been well looked after or just well ironed or steamed before you wear them and don't worry I get this because I'm always rushing I'm always rushing out of the house but I have recently bought a steamer, so let me know if you want some details on that, but it has actually changed my life. Plug it in, steam everything, and it has made life so much easier. So maybe it's time to look at some ways that you can just make your life a little bit easier so you're not rushing out the door and putting something on that does need a little bit of a good iron. So it's those little details that can really bring an outfit down. Now this next one is really close to my heart and that is wearing sunglasses and normal glasses I wear that is dirty or has smudges on it. Now I have a pair of, well I had a pair of glasses and they had a sort of a particular coating on them which meant that I could never completely get them clean. So whenever I put them on, they looked sort of slightly smudged and people would often say to me, oh, you're, can you see through your glasses? They seem to be smudged. In my mind, that's just not a good look. Unfortunately, those glasses had that, fit, that film on them that just made them impossible to clean. But it also made me really obvious and aware of how people notice those little details and especially with sunglasses if you've had them rolling around in your handbag and you put them on you often don't even realize that they've got smudges and marks on them and that's just not a good look so just be aware of those things keep your eyewear in a case and don't get any filters put on them like I did I learned that one the hard way but it is t a tiny tiny detail but it is noticed and it can definitely bring an outfit down. Now this one is kind of interesting because I do often say that it's important to spend a little bit on basics and pieces that you'll wear for a long long time but when it comes to sweaters really fine high quality sweaters actually require quite a bit of maintenance to keep them looking great. Usually what happens with sweaters is the higher the quality, the finer they are, the more delicate they are, the more careful you have to be with them when you're wearing them, when you're laundering them. So the care becomes really important. They also tend to pill more often as well. So just be aware of that when you are buying a classic sweater or a cardigan or a knit piece that you think you will invest a little bit more in just be aware that it also will require more work don't just feel like okay I've done my my bit here I've spent up large bought a a quality piece but when it comes to knitwear those quality pieces do require some careful admin so just be aware of that another item that I think always tends to cheapen an outfit is boots with too much detail on them so too many chains or studs or buckles or just too much sort of busyness I do tend to think if you are buying a more budget pair of boots whether they're ankle boots or biker style boots whatever it may be pull it back and make them as simple as possible 
This just helps them look a little bit more elevated and often those adornments on cheaper pieces just don't tend to, to wear as well. They don't last the distance and they sometimes just look a bit too shiny and a bit too cheap. So when it comes to boots and footwear, just be really careful of, of those sorts of extras. They, you know, look great when you first buy them, but they generally don't wear well. And as soon as they start falling apart and losing their shine, the boot or the footwear, the shoe ends up looking a little bit cheap. So just keep it really simple. Another thing that I see, and it does tend to make an outfit look cheap, and that is when your whites are not beautiful and white and that again is easily done because your basic pieces tend to get the most wear in your wardrobe so it just really is a, a case of being careful with your laundering, maybe hand washing your whites, maybe giving them an extra a little bit of TLC to keep them looking white and fresh and new. Anytime whites go sort of off-white and get that bit of a sort of a gray or yellowy look to them It's always just a little bit It doesn't look good and it looks cheap. So just keep your whites looking nice and crisp now in the same vein dark colors I often say it's best to buy a piece in black or dark if you really are on a tight budget because They do tend to be harder to identify as a cheaper piece but when it comes to knitted sort of jerseys and cotton knits in darker colors, you have to be really careful because they tend to fade and look a little bit dull and faded quite quickly. So just be aware of that. The Your sort of chiffons and the crepey type fabrics or chiffon type fabrics tend to keep their, their depth of color and just tend to look better for longer. Also t-shirting tends to fade as well, so just be really aware that if they are your favorite pieces and they are dark, then just be careful that they haven't sort of dulled off or faded without you even realizing. Now if you are buying budget clothing, one thing that is worth looking out for is just some of the finishing details. So things that you need to be aware of are puckered seams because generally there's no steaming or ironing that can get rid of those puckers because it's the way they've been so quickly sewn or things like loose threads or where prints and patterns aren't aren't joining up properly at the seams they're kind of telltale signs that your that your garment is cheap and often they're things that there is nothing that you can do to change them so when it comes to those finishing details just be aware and maybe think twice before you buy those pieces another thing that i have seen quite a bit lately and i really do feel that it cheapens an outfit and that is wearing too many colors at once now don't get me wrong i'm loving color at the moment and I'm all for it and I do believe that it makes you feel happy when you wear color but I think what has happened a little bit is there's been a little bit of anxiety when it comes to putting together outfits especially colorful outfits and I've seen a lot of different colors worn together now if this is your style and you love it then by all means just go for it but I do tend to feel that when too many colors are thrown together in an outfit it can just cheapen the whole look and just make it look a little unsophisticated so what I do tend to suggest is choosing no more than two colors in an outfit and of course you have a neutral on top of that but just sticking to a little bit of a formula like that does tend to create a little bit more of a minimal outfit and a little bit more of an outfit that is pulled together and and looks a little bit cohesive rather than a lot of colors just thrown in there for good measure and obviously some people can pull this off and it looks great I do think you have to have a really good sense of your own style to to make this kind of colorful rainbow look work and if you do and you love it that's great but it is tricky and if you don't get it right it can really look wrong
Anyway, that's it from me today. I hope you enjoyed this one, and if you did, I'd love you to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more. Oh, and also, don't forget to take advantage of that very cool Lily Silk offer. As I mentioned earlier, all of the links and details for that discount are in the description box below. So definitely go and check it out. But thanks so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.